But today I want to take a quick look into Leachy. Um, although I've been using it for three years now, I haven't really paid a lot of attention to the updates. Uh, it's because my workflow in Leachy has been so quick and easy um, with the models that I use from Loot Studios. Pre-supported, pre-hollowed. Um, basically load them into the build plate, spend a little bit of time doing some arrangement. Then from there, basically skip the prepare and export it straight for printing. So one of the things I'm really excited about with the new version of Hawaii here's what I had to, had to use previously. Any cubic Photon Mono M5S. Now what I want to do, add a new printer. Oh, when I got my M5S Pro, uh, this is when I noticed adding a filament printer. This is something I'm going to delve into in an upcoming video, seeing how easy it is to make the switch over to Lightsheet. So 3D printer, any cubic. This gives you an idea of the support Lightsheet's got. So you've got your presses, your frozens. Really go. Apes, anyway, any cubic. Now, do we have it? M5, M5S, M5S Pro. So, we can finally add this. M5S Pro, which means I can now get rid of this one. Delete this printer. Okay. Uh, you can see here, we've got my Cobra 2 Plus added as well. So, we're up to date with all my current printers. So I'm going to use a very simplified shape here. Let's go with the donut. What I'm going to do is just give it a slight rotate here. Give it some variation. Here we go, very simple file. Maybe we'll just lift that 10 mil. And we'll now, if we jump to the prepare side of things, so the very first thing we would do is look at some structural support for this. Uh, we need something to lock this to the build plate as it prints. Um, you know, if we were to go to do an island detection, obviously we have one island. First thing we can do, add supports to all islands. So you can see this is on the very bottom. We have our support on there. This is our first structural support. One awesome thing that Leachy has is the ability to change our supports. Um, so here we have a look, we have some light supports. Here's our settings. We can change tip diameter, tip length, and the diameter of the actual support itself. We have three preloaded ones here. So we can see a little bit thicker, thicker tip diameter, longer tip length. And here we could also create some of our own um, if we had anything in particular we wanted to add here. Structurally, <laughs> And one of the other new tabs here in Leachy is the structure tab. We can see we have a grid for our supports. Let's try four mil here. And what I can do, I'm already on light. Let's click to medium. These are our structural supports. This is what's going to hold it to the build plate. Heavy supports I probably only use on one sixth uh, statues or pieces that you're printing solid uh, that are going to have a whole heap of weight. Now, you can see here. Very basic structural supports and one thing you'll notice is we want to do a good amount of support 
around. This initial start with the model. One of the new tools I've noticed in Leechy recently, if we skip to the export, so we can jump into the simulator now. From here, we can get a preview of the print job. Okay, so those are our structural supports here. In theory, this might be enough to wedge the model onto the build plate. Uh, but what I want to do is now switch to our light supports. What I'm going to do, come in here and go in between a lot of these structural supports here. What I'm trying to do is some supports to just help keep shape. Structurally, everything might hold together, but with all of the pressure. model is exposed to through the printing process yeah, every time that build plate's going up and down we're sloshing reason around with this pressure coming off the fit every time it rips off uh, for every single layer yeah, so you could be looking at a couple of thousand layers so some light supports in here now. So with our structural supports and our shape supports, we should get a good print job. One thing to always do with a hollow print, check the interior here. And one of the other ways we can do our supports, so we'll switch to our manual. So what we can do here is our painting, one mil interval. And what I can do on the inside of the model, hold down shift. And I can paint all a heap of supports in here. Same here, hold down shift, paint them onto the profile. Now we have a heap of supports on the inside here. Let's make a few more on the inside. Here we go, inside, full of supports. Now these are obviously never coming out. So we have one other type of support to look at, which is our mini supports. So I'm gonna hold down Control and Alt. Click there and I'm gonna click down to a support that it's gonna branch off. This is how we get those nice fan supports that you might see on uh, pre-supported models. These are for detail. These are the supports you will put under a belt. Um, and I think that's sort of 10 layers thick as an island. Uh, it will need a little bit of support. We use these mini supports, they're, they're gonna break off very easily. Um, where we don't wanna use them is probably an island that's under four layers. You know, you're talking under half a mil. Um, it's very minimal. So then if I hold down Shift and Alt, it's gonna come from that same support and then I can just start clicking my fan under the detail I might want to preserve. We would go underneath here. Say so potentially we want to keep this corner. So I can click Control Alt down to here. Alt Shift. Add some nice fan supports. Yeah, we can support this detail. 
one last support we we'll look at, which is our bracing. So all of these supports, again, if we have a quick look at our simulation. As this is swooshing around here, these supports will be going left and right. Uh, a lot of movement left and right. This can cause fails, uh, especially with the detail in our print. But we need to stabilize those supports. So what we can do, select all of them, go over to the structure. And again, really good, this new feature at this point. We can select all of those. And we could adjust our grid pattern on the go and it's going to update those supports. Bring it down to three. Then we have a look at our small object bracing. We have a whole heap of presets here. Small object bracing, update. Yeah. All of this is braced. So you can see it's braced left and right, forward and back. And that, that is not going anywhere. And then we have a pretty basic simple shape. Um, using four different types of supports. So we've got some structural supports. We've got some shape supports to help keep everything together. We've got detail supports to help keep detail. Obviously, a model like this is not very detailed. We're not trying to save a lot. Um, but those are definitely what you would use on, say, an open mouth on a figurine. If you want to support all the upper teeth, they could be a little fan, mini supports coming off. And then our bracing. Um, Look at our raft. We have a number of options here. Put it all on the raft. Um, again, I just wanted to look at the basics, understanding where we might use these different supports, as I didn't have an understanding of this before. Uh, I was very heavily reliant on the auto supports, and those are basically just fixing islands um, from the island detection. We need to add those structural supports to keep everything together. We need to and the extra light supports to just help maintain the shape. Um, yeah, again, very easy model here, but to maintain a complex shape, those detail mini supports, and of course, the bracing. Compared to a pen, compared to a cola, uh, not sure if you've had a good look around this. I was having quite a bit of fun looking around this the other day. Um, like the little message on the bottom the comic sans ms forever hidden nicely behind the pen and i did also enjoy the ingredients list and the back of the can yeah this has definitely reacquainted myself with supports and already to mind, I have a number of models I'd like to do my own supports for. So let me know if you want to see more like this, um, or if there's any other parts of Lychee Slicer you want to get a better understanding of, um, whether that's into hollowing, the arrangement on the plate, um, or a deeper dive into the supports uh, with maybe some better examples. So if you like the video, leave a like, hit the subscribe if you want to catch more like this, and if you want to catch a video where I spent a lot of time in Lychee doing some slicing, uh, it was for a 1-6 statue model, check out this video here.